Gaga Eye is talking like this because when it comes to placement of cases before the court, there is nobody who has control over it. It is done by the office of the Chief Justice and the Judicial Secretary. And so it is very, very, very unfair and unrealistic for Tiger Eye to accuse Kennedy Adipon as having manipulated the system in such a way as to get a judge who will have a sympathetic hearing for he, Kennedy Adipon to the disadvantage of Tiger Eye. Um, I believe Tiger Eye is being paid in his own coin. And since Tiger Eye knows how to manipulate the system, he is complaining that uh, the system has been manipulated against him. But that is most untrue. Most untrue. And so I personally I'll dismiss the Tiger Eye statement as self-serving uh, and see. not correct. But Captain Krabi and Father Ted, it, it would be unfair to say that Tiger IPI knows how to manipulate the system. I mean, do you have evidence to back that claim that they know how to manipulate the system? Well, the only evidence I have is that Tiger Eye has been bombarding the eardrums of Ghanaians with so-called investigations and so-called findings and so-called reports that has led several people to untimely graves and lost their jobs. And for me, I have no sympathy for Tiger Eye. Not one, not one bit. Because Tiger Eye, who is Tiger Eye? Is it not Anas Aramia, Anas and his cronies? And are they saying, can they tell me that they have not committed anything? You remember the story of Jesus Christ when he said, he who has not sinned before should cast the first two. Tiger Eye, who is Tiger Eye? And you are claiming that you have been defamed. It's not serious. Well, but if I make reference to the statement by Tiger IPI again, because they say, and I quote, that throughout the trial, Kennedy Japan displayed absolute disdain and disrespect of the court and the lawyers of Anas, but all attempts to cite him for contempt hit a dead end. That's what you see on the screen. They're, essentially, they're, they're, they're questioning the conduct of the court in all of this. Captain Krabi, I follow I am surprised that Taga I is talking like this because Taga I and his team of lawyers should know that if a judge makes any ruling, any decision, and you are not comfortable with it, you have the right to appeal to the Court of Appeal or to a higher bench. So if they have kept quiet all this while and they have slept on their rights, and judgment has been given against them, it is too late in the day to complain about the system. Because this is the very system that they have been assaulting almost for the past three years, trying to come out with baseless accusations against high court judges and uh, try to run them down. I Tiger see. I should shut up. Uh, well, <laughs> they, you, you're saying they should shut up, but they also, well, I'm sure, expressing their rights to, to speak. And that's why they've put out this statement as well, an indication of a uh, decision to, as it were, challenge the, 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 the position of the court. But they describe this as a travesty of justice and very inimical to the administration of justice and fairness. I'm sure you've seen this statement, Captain Kwabi, it's actually on point three 
of this statement by Tiger IPI. They say this ruling and the outcome of it by Justice Eric Barr is a travesty of justice. Captain. Every lawyer will tell you that the basic right of a party in a court case, and that is to appeal against the decision, that right is violated. That right is fundamental. So I'm expecting that if the High Court judge has given judgment against Anas Aremiya or Anas in favor of Kennedy Adipo, or if in the view of Anas and his team of lawyers, the judge's decision is erroneous or is faulty, the solution is not to issue a statement condemning the judgment, but just to proceed to the Court of Appeal and file an appeal. State your grounds of the appeal and then contend or fight the judgment. Because all these allusions to the fact that Anas has not committed any murder and has not shown any collusion whatsoever with the murder of anybody. Uh, it's not here you nor know, there. When you issue a statement in the air, it stands there just like that. It does not resolve you. It does not absorb you. It does not uh, clear you of the smear or the debt that has been poured on you. Be your best place to acquit yourself of any erroneous or false accusation is to go to court. And he initially announced to this matter to court because he wanted to clear his name. Now the court in his judgment says that Kennedy Dupont is not guilty of defamation. And so he can go scot free. If they are not comfortable with the decision. It's simple. File a uh, notice of appeal and pursue the appeal. But to stand outside with your lawyers and issue statements and say that um, uh, a nurse is not guilty of murder and the uh, judgment is a travesty of justice and inimical this and that and this and that it's neither here nor there. It's neither here nor there. The fact remains that according to the records of Ghanaian legal jurisprudence, Anas has failed in his bid to commit Kennedy Depot for a defamatory suit. That's as simple as that. He should take steps. If I'm Anas lawyer, I would suggest to him that we should appeal against the judgment immediately. And keep your mouth shut. It's as okay. simple as that. Well, but Captain, you cannot also uh, overlook the impact. I mean, of his work. I mean, beyond everything that's happened now with this specific case, I mean, his target of exposing or the objective of exposing corruption amongst the high and mighty, and then also fighting corruption, cannot also be understated. In the larger scheme of things, when you're talking about his work and his impact, can you? I am very happy about the judgment because the only body established by law to fight corruption in Ghana, or for that matter, in the country or anywhere else, is the police service. If you have allegations of corruption, go make a, a factual report or a complaint to the police CID. Let them investigate and take the culprits to court and accuse them. But if you arm yourself with gadgets and you call yourself a private investigator and you invade the privacy of my house or my office, and you tempt me with documents and uh, money and so on, and then you come out with 
a shady report saying that you are an investigative journalist. Uh, personally, I may be wrong. Uh, many people may not agree with me. But personally, I think that is way outside the law. And the law should not support, the law should not promote, the law should not encourage this type of undercover journalism. No. If you are a journalist, and I, in Krabia, I, even though I'm not a trained journalist, I'm a journalist. I write in the media regularly. If you are a journalist, report what you see to the police so that the investigations may lead to prosecution. But not that you do your private investigation and you release a report and your victims have no right of reply. They cannot defend themselves. Look at my very good personal friend, Justice, Justice Aitiato, a high court judge in Tamale, a young man, not yet 50 years. His whole life has been dislocated just because of our nurse bogus report. What, what do you mean by uh, fighting corruption through the announced method? Well, but you it's, see, not, it's not correct. Well, that's what the president said. Well, if you say it's not correct, the president actually endorsed this. In fact, he said that's what he's going to use to fight corruption, the ANAS principle. I don't think Captain Krabi Afadatet is right to say that, you know, these persons who are captured in there are also not given the right of hearing. I mean, ANAS himself doesn't have the powers to prosecute. He doesn't have prosecutory powers. So after exposing that, then the appropriate agencies take it up to then act on the outcome of his undercover investigations. That's what happens. Well, if His Excellency the President has made that statement, uh, it's not a secret cow, it's not a secret statement, it's not an unassailable statement. But uh, His Excellency may have that view. But me personally, as a crabby father, I don't agree with Anna's method of fighting corruption. No. Okay, well, well thank you.